this week, the greatest names in daytime television are being recognized at the Emmy Awards. Yes, we are joined by two nominees, Jacqueline McInnes-Wood and Jason Thompson this morning. Hey, you two. Hi. Hi, good morning. Us. Good morning and congratulations on your nominations. How are you feeling? Great, really, really great. Yeah. Glad to be here and just really excited about the nomination. This is fantastic. Now, the nominations, you know, in and of itself, that can be uh, a little nerve wracking. And then, of course, yes. you've got to sit and wait until the awards <laughs> <laughs> to find out whether or not you're going to get uh, the award. You've both been nominated uh, previously. What does this time feel like, that wait and see time? I think no matter what, it's always a humbling experience. Sure. I, I don't think it's something that you necessarily get used to. Uh, so it'll always be a pinch me moment. Uh, I know how hard everyone works on on our show, and it's a it's a fast paced environment. It's challenging but very rewarding. And uh, you know this nomination is just not for myself. It's my co stars. It's the cast, the crew. So uh, we're all doing it together. And yeah, it's something that I will never get tired of. So a question for both of you guys. I always love um, asking soap opera actors this because it is such a monumental undertaking to put on the shows that you guys put on. There's four, you know, it's five one-hour dramas in a week. So many storylines going on. Um, do you guys, Jason, start with you. Do you know the other characters' storylines or are you only focused on yours when you're doing the work? Yeah, it's a little bit of a combination. Um, it's uh, obviously you know what's going on in your storyline, yeah. and you see other people in the hallways or in the green rooms, or you're shooting after them, or you're watching the feed in your room, or you're talking about it. But realistically, a lot of them, they all kind of connect to a certain point. You know, yeah. I mean, there's a through line within the show, within the week, within a storyline, but. It, it varies. Sometimes I have no idea what anybody else is doing. <laughs> I'm, I'm missing them in the hallway. They're there in the morning. I'm there in the afternoon. I might not see them for two weeks. And they could have been going through, like, the craziest storyline. And sometimes I have no idea or vice versa. But, um, but uh, it's, it's, you know, it's a well-oiled machine. People come in. People, yeah. people leave. They, they go in. They go out. You know, there's always something happening. We have two stages. We have one stage in the morning, one stage in the afternoon. So there's a lot going on. And we've been doing it for 50 years, so, you know, it's, uh, yeah. we know what we're doing at this point. Yeah. We've been doing this show for 50 years. No. <laughs> Man, we still there don't you know. Go. High five. <laughs> Good job. Uh, Jacqueline, I want to ask you. So, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, you have four children at home, okay? <laughs> so, I would imagine, you know, these soap operas, like when we see the imagery and everything, they're all glamorous and like everything's high fashion and very cool. There has to be a weird moment when you come home and you're like, now I've got the chaos of four kids <laughs> after spending my, my day on the set. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I I've basically have like four under four right now. Oh, <laughs> wow. Four oh. boys. Yeah, they, but it's incredible. You know, I, I think, uh, I always say I, I'm trying to dance in the chaos because I know that this time goes by really quick. So I try to enjoy it as much as I possibly can. Uh, but yeah, I, I get to dive into Bold and Beautiful, which it kind of is like the best part time job because I'm mama mode and then I go in and I, mm -hmm. I I work on the Bold and Beautiful. It's that nice little balance. And I just, I try to give, you know, 100% in whatever I'm doing. And that might not always be the case, but I, you know, I, I certainly try and, the show has been extremely accommodating with this, you know, great schedule. So yeah. I'm lucky to be be able with be with my children and and go and dive in with the bold and the beautiful. But yeah, you know, they could be they could rush the door right now and come right in. So you just never <laughs> know what you're going to get. to do. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, we're yeah. excited to watch the show uh, again. Uh, the uh, daytime Emmys has been rescheduled, so it's going to air on Friday. This yeah. coming Friday, uh, you can catch it. Uh, and we're to hope, fingers crossed and all the good vibes that you both walk away with those awards this time around, guys. It's very sweet. Thanks thank for you. having us. Good luck, guys. Jason, thank you so much for your time. This thank morning. you. Appreciate you. Good luck, guys.